Hello, good evening, assalamu alaikum, and welcome to Sports Extra. Not just Sports Extra, but I think one of the most special editions of Sports Extra that we could bring you. Now, growing up, all of us have seen different kinds of sports, but you know, one thing which has been very famous, not here in Pakistan, but throughout the world, it has been that our bedroom was our own ring. Throwing someone off from your bedroom was known as the Royal Rumble. You would kick your little cousins, you'd throw them around, and you'd try to pin them one, two, three, because you knew that you were the champion of your own ring. And that is what wrestling gave each and every one of us, including myself. And that was a dream. And it seemed far away. But because of a legendary person who's sitting right next to me and his team, they brought that dream to Pakistan. Not just that dream, but with them, all the guys we've seen growing up as well and who we've actually imitated as well. Right? We wanted them to be our superheroes and we wanted to enact as them as well. But all of them are here, obviously. It's going to be one cracker of a show and I'm going to introduce these guests straight onwards because I'm as honored as I can be. And like I said, it wouldn't have been there for every one of us, including myself, millions of Pakistanis out there, this dream coming true, owing it to this very fine gentleman and his team. He's the managing director of Ring of Pakistan. This is their third year in a row. It's a hat trick. Third time, bigger, better, they've brought it back a win. And you know what? They've actually delivered what they've promised. And that is pure action. And they've got it here. He's the managing director of Ring of Pakistan, like I mentioned, Mr. Imran Shah. Imran, assalamu alaikum. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam, Bakar. Thanks for having me. You know, bigger and better, you're back again. Yeah, third time, uh, yes. We have done two shows mm -hmm. already. So we are more experienced, better team, mm -hmm. better wrestlers. So yes, a bigger show. And we can own it. It's Ring of Pakistan. So each and every one of us can own it. Yes, I mean, we just started this mm -hmm. uh, new industry, but it uh, belongs to everybody who loves wrestling. Right. So we just initiated it. And with him, we have none other than the living God, the legend himself, born in England, of course, fighting throughout his career as the real champ as he is, more than six feet of height and a lot of muscle. He's none other. Back, He started his career back in 2007 in professional wrestling as well. He's none other than the very great, my man, Mr. Tiny Iron. Tiny, hello, how are you? Hey, man, love your intro, man. You really hyped me up. Hyped yeah. me up to the Pakistani <laughs> community, man. You know, I'm glad to be here again, man. You know, 2017, 2018, 2019. Once again, I'm back again, you know. That's why they call me Tanya and half man, half Pakistani, man. You know, and this week's going to be special, you know, because this week is my birthday, you know. So I want everybody to come, you know, enjoy the festive period for me, you know, to celebrate with the Pakistani crowd, my friends, the unity we're going to have on this week is going to be special special so bring the sweet lassie and let's have a glass on me man come down to the show make sure make sure you see me there man most definitely i want to see you my too. man he, yeah. like he said he's pakistani as well and you know not just lassie bring the cake in your presence too because tiny's in town and it's his happy birthday this week as well so it's gonna be a party cracking all over pakistan and with tiny we've got this fine young lady who's been actually uh, a fantasy and a dream girl for everybody watching and I, I personally wanted to be a either a ring announcer or a wrestling commentator because I thought it was a lot of action you got to speak your heart out cover all of those moves like DDT splash whatever you want to call it as well but then again at the same time one way or the other you got, got some action as well when some wrestler came hard at you and you got right back to them started a career back in 2002 I think it's right justice to her if we introduce her like the way she used to do as well she is, of course, weighing, uh, with a height of 5 feet 7, weighing in almost in 105 pounds when she started. She is none other than the legendary gal, So Calval. How are you, ma'am? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. This is such an honor. And like you, I grew up watching wrestling, but I wanted to do the talking portion. And I never thought I'd be lucky enough to be with these talented people all the way here in beautiful Pakistan. First time here as well. I hope, but yeah. not the last time. We're not definitely going to have you. But like I said, you've actually been an inspiration to all of us who wanted to go into sports commentating Thank as well. You. But like I said, it wasn't the commentating. You got a bit of action yourself as well. I did a little bit. You know, I, I emulated the girls I wanted to, to be like when I was younger. And most of the girls were more talkers than they were fighters. And I tried a little bit of the wrestling stuff, but these guys are so tough. They'll tell you it is very dangerous. Don't try this at home. I know you talked about throwing your cousins around. We don't <laughs> condone that. But definitely for me, it was the talking and, and the big Hollywood aspect of it, uh, the big production. And that's exactly what Ring of Pakistan is. Back and better than ever. Better than ever. We're, we're better to be behind the mic than be in a corner with Tiny, yes. doesn't it? And Bacha. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely there. And of course, we have none other than the champion of Ring of Pakistan. I want to call him undisputed. I want to call him the champ for all of you Pakistanis and all of you out there. He's your very own, none other 
नरेंद्र चैंपियन हिमसेल्फ मिस्टर बाचा बाचा अस्सलाम वालेकुम हाउ आर यू क्या हाल है वालेकुम अस्सलाम ठीक ठाक आप सुनाएं क्या हाल है आई एम वेरी गुड मैं चाहूंगा पहले आप अपनी टाइटल हमें लाजमी दिखाएं बिकॉज़ आई थिंक दिस इज व्हाट इट्स ऑल अबाउट और ये इजीली नहीं आई बाचा हैज डिफेंडेड दिस अगेंस्ट ऑल ऑफ दीस मीन एंड टफ गाइस लेकिन बाचा कॉन्फिडेंस इस साल भी ऊपर है जी कॉन्फिडेंस तो है अपने ये होम मेरे ये होम टाउन है इस्लामाबाद तो मैं वहां का हूं तो वहाँ के लोग होंगे तो प्रेशर होगा तो हार गया तो बेजती हो जाएगी तो हार नहीं सकता तो मेहनत जारी है तो इन शाला फिर बताएंगे कि हम पाकिस्तानी किसी से कम नहीं है इन लेकिन डिफेंस के लिए ओपन है डरेंगे नहीं डिफेंस से नहीं 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 डिफेंस के लिए ओपन हूँ राइट इमरान आई एम आस्क यू दिस आई अंडरस्टैंड वी टॉक द लास्ट टाइम यू केम एज वेल एंड आई अंडरस्टूड वेयर दिस आइडिया केम फ्राम बट सिंस देन इट्स ग्रोन इट्स स्प्रेड थ्रू आर पाकिस्तान लाइक फायर uh what are you doing now this time how it, does it get bigger how does the stage further expand very importantly uh in order for this industry to grow we need uh, academies mm-hmm. so we can train local wrestlers because mm-hmm. that is the actual game so uh we have initiated that program as well so we'll set up academies all around the country and uh, then we'll turn it into a league system so mm-hmm. we'll have a ring of karachi mm-hmm. ring of lahore ring of islamabad ring of Kashmir so and then we can bring them all together that's where through this process hopefully one day WWE champion would be from Pakistan as well mm. why not hopefully why not the yeah. undisputed champion from all the regions coming in and battling yeah. on the top stage uh tiny uh, ready to give bacha a tough time this year as well oh yeah man definitely man i'm going to have to get involved more you know i'm going to you know definitely cuz you know i want to own my hand on that title yeah you know bacha is a good friend to me i've yeah. known him for many years But when it comes to that ring you know friendship goes out sometime uh-huh. you know and that gold that gold on that belt of the RLP mm-hmm. I want it cuz I love gold yeah <laughs> don't you yeah. ever but tell me about this now two years back you did come two years in a row like you mentioned yeah. 17 18 19 how does it get more special what was the response after those successful two years oh man i mean i'm back here again you know that means the response must have been good uh-huh. you know uh, when i go back to the uk i can't even walk down the road no more the pakistani communities <laughs> are, are just embracing me you know left right and center that means i know it's working these media channels are working what you're doing for us is working so all i can see we're going to get grow and grow and grow and i'll keep coming and coming and coming coming to pakistan as for as long as i'm living you know but soon or later you know we're going to have your own champions like mm-hmm. imran said man you're going to have your own champions man cuz you got so much talent here in Pakistan man so definitely you know I'm going to help them grow you know and help make RP the best wrestling organization in the world yo definitely yeah. inshallah we yeah, do hope yeah. so right so cal uh, from texas united states land of the rattlesnakes yes indeed and coming on to the big <laughs> ring which is probably like not just the best form of entertainment but a dream come true for many people how was that journey It's been a very long journey and I started very young. My first show was in 2002 like you pointed out. I was uh it was 3 days after my 16th birthday. And uh you know, I I just kept hustling as I call it. I kept doing small shows like like Tiny said, people are given opportunities when they're young and that's what's so important. That's what we're doing here at Ring of Pakistan to try to find the best wrestlers here uh locally because we were all given a chance when we were younger and I kept doing smaller shows onto bigger shows. I was then signed to Impact Wrestling for 9 mm-hmm. years. I really grew up in that company uh figuratively and and literally and uh it was such an amazing journey and i have a lot of people to thank but you know you also have to thank yourself because it's it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of traveling a lot of self promotion and you know knowing social media and things like that so i've been lucky but i've also worked very hard and like i said i mean i feel very lucky and honored to be on a tour of this magnitude well, definitely we were honored to have you thank i think you. it's it's growing as we say bacha uh, uh, imran ne platforms or academies ki baat ki aapka kya khayal hai because i'm sure since you're the champion बहुत से लोग आते होंगे टू गेट ट्रेनिंग फ्रॉम यू जी 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 बहुत मैसेज आते हैं इधर पाकिस्तान में लोगों को बहुत शौक है इस फील्ड का इस स्पोर्ट का लेकिन कोई है नहीं है कोई अकेडमी नहीं है या कोई ट्रेनर नहीं है जो सा इनको ट्रेन कर सके तो मैं यही सोच रहा हूँ कि जल्द से जल्द मैं इधर पाकिस्तान सेटल हो जाऊँ उधर जितना काम है छोड़ के इधर आऊँ सेटल हो जाऊँ जितनी मेरी बुकिंग्स है रिफ्यूज़ करूँ इधर आऊँ ताकि पाकिस्तानी को ट्रेन कर सकूँ और नेक्स्ट टाइम जब आया करें तो हम लेस 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 इम्पोर्ट करें क्योंकि जब भी हम ड्रेसिंग शो करते हैं ना तो बहुत इम्पोर्ट होता है सारे फॉरेनर्स होते हैं तो मेरा ये मकसद है कि 2020 2021 में 
کیا ہے کہ ہمارا ففٹی ففٹی ہو ففٹی ففٹی پاکستان ففٹی پاکستانی ففٹی پرسینٹ پاکستانی ففٹی پرسینٹ فورنرز تاکہ پتہ چلے کس میں دام ہے پاکستانیوں میں یا فورنرزم جی جی ڈیفینیٹلی لائک بادشاہ مینشن از ویل ہی سیڈ فرام ٹو ایئرز آن ورڈز اینڈ ہی وانٹس ٹو موو بیک ٹو پاکستان برنگ آل آف ہز فوکس ہیئر از ویل اینڈ میک شیور دیٹ اٹس اے بیلنس ان بٹوین پاکستانی ریسلرز اینڈ آف کورس پیپل فرام کمنگ فرام آؤٹ سائڈ از ویل اینڈ اٹس اٹس ناٹ جسٹ فار دی انٹرٹینمنٹ پرپزز از ویل اے ڈیکوریٹڈ چیمپ لائک ٹائنی اے لیجنڈری گرل لائک سو کالوال so much to learn from their experiences for this younger lot as well i mean they're a great uh, inspiration you know i mean take Batsha as well for example he's the only pakistani mm. uh, in pro wrestling, wrestling yes yeah. and he goes with the pakistani flag mm-hmm. so a lot of youngsters look up to that i mean i'll just give you an example on social media we've got like about 15000 applications for young people who want to be wrestlers mm. but we need infrastructure i we can't as a company you know build academies throughout the country But there is an infrastructure available there uh, by the government, but it's only they have to merge with the private companies mm. like us and uh, help the industry It's got to be a public-private partnership. Never Absolutely. happened without it. Absolutely. I mean, we're doing our best. This is the third year. Yeah. And I think we've imported, I would say, more than 40 wrestlers so yeah. far, over 20 countries. Yeah. And uh, I mean, we're doing our bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tani is like the Vince McMahon of Pakistan, isn't he, right? <laughs> he's all suited, rooted, <laughs> and he's got that inspiration to just... get business going but yeah. at the same uh-huh. time bring wrestling as well most definitely yeah. we we need someone like Imran you know yeah. he's he he is like in the driving seat uh-huh. you know he tells us where to go left tells us <laughs> where to go right he takes us on you know underneath the tunnel he takes us through the bridge he takes us over the other side you know so we need someone like Imran to you know to drive forward this this whole ROP network you know to bring it to a further further mm. further and expand yeah. and make it grow so It's a perfect partnership, man. And yeah, there's definitely. a lot of merchandise up for grabs, isn't it? I see you wearing a fine shirt over there, and that's like, you can get your hands on this merchandise. You want this, don't you? Look at that tiny, <laughs> with that <laughs> shirt over there as well. Most definitely, yeah. man. Most definitely, man. You know, part of the merchandise. RRP is going to be a whole, a whole network of things. Merchandise, film, wrestling, everything. You know, we're looking to do this whole enterprise. Mm. RRP, you know, it's going to be in Pakistan forever, man. This is just the beginning stages. Definitely, man. definitely, yeah. inshallah. All right, so Kalbal, uh, you've been uh, on that part as well, which is obviously known as the branding of it as well. And of course, uh, like you mentioned, getting it to the limelight is very important. So it just doesn't have to be pure action only. It's got to be balanced with the right kind of marketing and of course the right kind of entertainment tools. Absolutely, and I think having a personality is, is, is key in being a professional wrestler, or in my case, a presenter, announcer. And with social media being a big tool nowadays, I find that the best accounts, uh, the, the most uh, engaging accounts that I follow are the ones where people are really their authentic selves. So as they can tell you, when we are seeing new talent coming into ROP, hashtag ROP by the way, yeah. speaking of social media, uh, you know, we're looking for personality and we're looking for someone who uh, is sort of like themselves with the volume turned up. All of the characters that you see, you know, we, we, we want to be larger than life. That's mm-hmm. what I love about wrestling. It's good versus evil. It's big characters and that's what makes it really fun. You guys have your own action figures. How better can it get? Right. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> like your own action figures. Mm-hmm. Imagine Sokal Vala having her own action figure uh, <laughs> yeah. in her own room. So it gets crazier. But this is how people actually get to connect with you guys. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And the merchandise is really important, you know, especially for, for the younger fans. They mm-hmm. love action figures. They love... Uh, all of mer- the merchandise, they're going to be wanting one of these tiny shirts. They might need a smaller size, I think, because I think this is a, a big one. But yeah, for, for kids, um, it's, it's a great thing to do to buy them uh, some toys when they're younger, action figures. But when you're older, the thing about, that I love about wrestling merchandise is it's sort of a conversation piece. Yeah. You can be anywhere on the street and someone will see a Ring of Pakistan shirt. Right. And then you have this instant connection of how you both have a passion for wrestling. Right. And that's what I love about it. Definitely. But not just the shirt. I'm, I'm telling you this year they're going to come after your shades, man. Oh, they're my. They're coming after <laughs> your shades this time. There are a lot of gold diggers here. You never know. <laughs> they want that. But, uh, Bacha, uh, is it true that when you started professional wrestling, پاکستانی فلیگ اٹھایا سوشل میڈیا پہ بہت زیادہ ہائپ بن گئی جی جی اور پیپل وانٹ ٹو گیٹ ان ٹچ ود یو جی جی بہت میسج آتے ہیں سوشل میڈیا پہ بہت لوگوں کو اس نہیں ہوتا وہ کہتے ہیں کہ ہمیں بھی ریسلنگ کرنی تھی لیکن ہمیں پلیٹ فارم نہیں ملی تو آپ کو دیکھ کے ہمیں خوشی محسوس ہوتی ہے کہ جیسے کہ آپ کو دیکھ لیا سمجھو ہم نے اپنے آپ کو ادھر دیکھ لیا تو وہ اپنے آپ کو انڈیفائی کر رہے ہیں میرے مجھے دیکھ کر تو جب میں نے جب ڈریسنگ اسٹارٹ کی جب دیکھی دیکھنے کا اسٹارٹ کی جب فین تین چار سال کا تھا جب ڈریسنگ دیکھ رہا تھا پاپا کے ساتھ تو بڑا ہوا تو محسوس ہوا کہ کوئی پاکستانی نہیں ہے اس فیلڈ میں تو ہوتا ہے نا کہ ریسرز بچوں کے لیے سپر ہیروز ہوتے ہیں تو میرا کوئی نہیں تھا جس کو دیکھ کے میں کہوں کہ جی میرے جیسے دکھتا ہے پاکستانی ہے ہمارے کلچر سے ہے 
तो बड़ा हुआ तो मैंने कहा नहीं एक पाकिस्तानी होना चाहिए और मैं वो पाकिस्तानी बनूंगा जो सा अपने पाकिस्तान को रिप्रेजेंट करेगा तो बड़ा होकर अलहमदिल्ला से ये अचीव कर सका हूँ और अब बहुत सारे यंग पीपल मुझे देख के इंस्पायर होते हैं तो ये इससे बड़ी चीज़ क्या हो सकती है मेरे लिए पिछली बार मैंने एक वीडियो देखी थी एक चैनल पर लगी थी एक बच्चा कह रहा था मैं मैं बादशाह खान का फ़ैन हूँ और बड़ा होकर मैं बादशाह खान की तरह तरह बनूँगा तो ये मेरे दिमाग में क्लिक हो गई थी कि जो चीज़ मुझे चाहिए थी जब बचा था अब वो चीज़ उन्हें मिल रही है तो इससे are very important especially your own role models and that's why iran culture is another thing you're promoting one way the, the or the other you'd never thought hmm. five years <clears> from <throat> here onwards that tiny would be coming to pakistan asking for lassi yeah absolutely <laughs> i mean professional wrestling is is is, is more than just wrestling mm. it's just sports it connects the communities and that's the only sport i believe that is equally followed across the world in east and west and i'll give you an example in 2017 when we brought uh, wade barrett for example mm. and the, uh, the 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 audience knew his chants his yeah. song so we thought you know it'll be very difficult to explain who wade barrett is mm. but then they knew more than we did so that shows there is a bond why not expand on it mm. yeah. i still remember uh, tiny the first time you came to these studios yeah. and everything was like like this when you were walking in it was like godzilla's coming but uh <laughs> that was the first time and now people actually knew you so when we were getting this show there were a lot of people throughout our studios as well who were saying oh tiny's coming so this is how it gets special for everyone oh yeah man I become part of the family man you know cuz once you see me the first time you think okay that's the shock <laughs> second time oh he's cool third time come around for dinner <laughs> you know so you know it just become a part of the family now man so it's all cool man it's all and we good. always have a chat with you that uh, it's a lot of uh, physical uh, putting yourself on the line as well and these people who want to take up wrestling have got to understand those physical risks involved and you got to be tough not from here but from here as well to get over injuries uh, of course man injuries is a big part in wrestling man a lot, a lot of fighters get injured you mm. know and it could be they could be out for months and the careers could be ruined so you got to be very very you know careful how you do do your art or do your skill or do your moves in that ring you know to preserve your own wrestling career you know so it's not easy it's very difficult but mm -hmm. once you get the gauge of your own body you know your limits you know what you can do what you can't do then you just you know you just take take you know take your time and just get the job done man definitely yeah Yeah. So Calval, limits for you as well, putting yourself on the line every time getting injured? Oh, well, I'm very tough and mm -hmm. I've been no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've not had any sort of injuries, but people are are shocked to learn how dangerous professional wrestling is and and these guys are so tough and they're so resilient and you know, you also have to couple that with the travel and the grueling hours and all of that that goes into it. People very often think that it's a very glamorous life and and situations like this we're happy to do and it is a glamorous moment right <laughs> yeah. now, but there's a lot that goes into it especially in terms of training and diet and sacrifice that all of these men and women go through mm -hmm. every day to be professional wrestlers but as tiny said you know um having other skills and and having personality is is important because that way you know say you are injured and and you know you you might take a role as an announcer or as a commentator um i think it's good to be a well-rounded performer and that's another reason why we look for such personality when when choosing our ring of pakistan yeah i saw jerry the king lawler always uh, doing commentary but yeah. When he came to the ring I was shocked I said oh wow he can wrestle as well right. so you guys have a secret to you you guys as well right there you when it comes tough you're going to be there well hey you never know what's going to happen this weekend <laughs> if tiny or or any of the guys get too close i might just DDT Pop him, in. you know no, right? with your referee <laughs> i don't want to break a nail <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be dangerous but she also wants that little speculation <laughs> and you know that little suspense going on at the same time mm. as well uh, bacha injuries ऑलवेज देयर लेकिन उनसे वापस आना ज्यादा जरूरी इंजरीज तो बहुत सारी हुई हैं अभी मेरा भी नी का मसला है मुझे मेरा पीसीएल डैमेज है अभी तो डॉक्टर ने कहा अक्टूबर में देखेंगे कि अभी भी नी ठीक है नहीं नहीं तो ऑपरेशन भी हो सकता है लेकिन मैं इधर आ गया हूं और टाइटल को डिफेंड करना है तो भी टाइट करके अपनी पट्टी शट्टी बांध कर इधर भूल जाना शुरू हो जाना है बस यही बैक का भी इशू है बैक में एक डिस्क आगे पीछे हुआ है तो रिब का भी मसला बस दर्द ना हो तो मजा नहीं आता तो कोई दर्द ना हो ना तो दर्द ना हो तो कहते हैं यार कुछ किया नहीं हमने <laughs> <laughs> तो ये मसला है ये बात है राइट आई यू टॉक्ड अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू बी सेटिंग अप एकेडमीज एंड गिविंग अ प्लेटफार्म टू सो मेनी पीपल हु नेवर डिड लाइक आई आई कैन सेट फॉर माय सेल्फ आई नेवर गॉट द प्लेटफार्म फॉर रेसलिंग वेदर इट वाज कंपीटिंग इन अ प्रोफेशनल रिंग और आउटसाइड एज अ स्पोर्ट्स कमेंटेटर लाइक आई सेड आई वांट टू बी अ रेसलिंग यू नो कमेंटेटर एज़ वेल बट दिस इज द गुड पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ कैरियर्स इन्वॉल्व it's referees 
it's these commentators, it's mm. promoters who are going to see you and try to yeah. give you competition. I know yeah. they're going to be bashed aside, but uh, it opens up a new market. Yeah, I mean, good competition, we don't mm. mind. Um, and it's beyond that, uh, I mean, Rastas like uh, Tiny, Chris Masters, and uh, you know, presenters like Sol Calwell, the internationally known, they will become our ambassadors. When they go back, they'll tell people, you know, what sort of hospitality they've had. So in the bigger picture, there will be investors looking into investing in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So you need to show them it's a safe country, yeah. and it's progressing, and the best way you can do is by uh, entertaining them. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, yes, there will be a lot more. And just looking at uh, Ring of Pakistan structure, I mean, we'll need at least uh, 100 professional wrestlers to form mm -hmm. those uh, 10 teams. Yeah. Uh, Get the league structure yes, going. Absolutely, and then you have trainers, then you have uh, ring announcers, and you know, it's, it's a, it's a lot of work there for uh, you know. And for you, we helping and your the economy team. as well. Mm. We helping the economy as well. So yeah, we'll definitely. You got to uh, <laughs> promote the national exchequer at the same time. Absolutely, it's as important. But the team, I think, is phenomenal that you've got. I mean, we've got a uh, very good team. We started with uh, just very few people, just mm. an idea. But then, the good thing is, a lot of people uh, in Pakistan they love wrestling. So they volunteered as well, mm -hmm. you know, uh, very skillful people. So they had a personal interest. It was not just a business. So uh, yeah, it was, it was, the team is growing, and uh, we're not losing any old team. So that's the good news. So uh, we'll keep growing, hopefully. Definitely, inshallah. I hope so. Inshallah. My prayers and everybody's prayers are with you as well. Danny, you said mm -hmm. lassi. Now people want to know what other foods have you been trying over these three years. <laughs> what do you know about our cuisine? Man, you know, uh, the keema. <laughs> uh, protein, real protein. Oh, keema yeah. and um, the, the chapatis. Uh -huh. That's it, really. Yeah. Keema, chapati, and my mango lassi or yeah. sweet lassi. That's my, that's my main That's my main. Food, but the man. jar of lassi has got to be as big as Tiny himself. Oh, really. man, that jar. Every morning, breakfast, yeah. the, the, the hotels, mm -hmm. you know, they have it ready for me, man. I, yeah. I thank them for it, man, because that's my thing, man. Uh -huh. That's my thing. That gets my, that gets my day started. Yeah. You know, it gets the toughness in me. Mm -hmm. gets me ready to, you know, deal with all the pressures and all the, you know, the media runs and the show. So, mm -hmm. you know, bring on the lassi, man. Bring so, it on. so the lassi is not, like, limited here. When you're going back home as well, your family's gonna be like, wow, like yeah. he's brought something back, not oh, just yeah. the title. Yeah, yeah. Now now I wanna go for drinks, I'm going to the, the local eight um Indian shop, Asian shop yeah. to get that lassie, man, yeah. you know, straight up. You know, no more McDonald's, man. Straight for the, <laughs> just straight for the restaurant for the lassie. Yeah, yeah. No just the lassie as well. Yeah. Have, uh, are you gonna? Are you hopeful of trying Pakistani cuisines as well at this point? I time? am. I've only been here less than 24 hours now, but um, I'm looking forward to the food. But I'm also looking forward to seeing more of the fashion because, mm -hmm. especially the women's fashion, I've seen. I absolutely love it with the sparkle and beautiful drapery. So it's it's like a a, a runway catwalk show for me just to see yeah. these women in the streets wearing gorgeous outfits. Mm -hmm. I love that. And you, you never know, you might just see So Kalwal in one of your traditional outfits. I would love so it's, that. Yeah, so it's going to be, uh, you're actually on the fun side of it, not just the action, not just the glamour, but shopping, which is probably the best part about traveling, isn't it? I have to say, my mother told me when I was younger, she said, how did you figure out a way to play dress up for a living? That's yeah. all you wanted to do <laughs> was to talk a lot and, and try to change outfits six times a day. And now yeah. I have a career where mm -hmm. that's required. So that's required. I'm very proud of myself in that Living the dream. That's yeah, yeah. Say. To wear headbands like this and sparkle. And again, that's what I love about wrestling is more is more. Mm, more is more. Yeah. Definitely. It is. Uh, Bacha, uh, tiny and Sokal Val both love Pakistani culture. They're already inspired. Mm -hmm. This is why this is so important that you are an ambassador for Pakistan. Yes, yes. And you have this whole culture to reach those places where people didn't know about Pakistan. Yes, yes, yes. This is it. Then there is also an outfit in Pakistan. There is also an outfit in Pakistan so that people know that Pakistan is also a country. And Pakistan is not a terrorist country. Nahi hai. Pakistan is mm. very beautiful. Then you Pro wrestling lai hai na taake logo ko pata chale ki pro wrestling hoti kya hai. Lekin ye bhi pata chale puri dunya ko ki Pakistan ek safe country hai, ki ek peaceful country hai aur lovely loving country hai. To jaise kya tha na ek tiri mein doshkar, to pro wrestling ke through ek tiri mein doshkar ho. Doshkar ho. Definitely like he said. He said that he's promoting it throughout the world that Pakistan is a safe country. Pakistan is open for all kind of opportunities. It's a beautiful land, not just the land itself, but the people. And of course, their love and passion for these people as well is there. And like he said, that the world now needs to get this message 
that Pakistan is ready for all kinds of sporting activities as well. Uh, Imran, you've got to make them go to the northern areas as well. This has got to be one part of it. Make them travel and see the place. Um, yes, ideally we would do that. Mm. It was in the plan, but this time it won't be possible. But mm. then um, we have touched f three provinces so far. Yeah. So you're doing so tourism at the same time. Yes, we are actually. <laughs> So, um, and I'm sure when they go to that part of the world, well, they are overwhelmed with the beauty of Karachi, Islamabad, mm -hmm. Lahore so far. And I'm sure when they go, th go, go to northern areas, they will be amazed. Yeah. So that, that's another um, aspect of it. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to highlight all the aspects, you know, and uh, I mean, Tiny is, uh, I think, can become a brand ambassador for some Lassi. It already is, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so next time I, I, I know now <laughs> when you're coming, I'm not going to be serving you water, but mango lassi in a big jar. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, that, that's, I'm, I'm taking this in my notebook. Thank but uh, tiny Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, I've got to make you make a choice. I, oh, I'm, I'm tempted. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you know, I can't really pick, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because every time I, I land in each of these, these um, wonderful cities and towns, I'm just, you know, for me, it's all the same, all one unity. We're all brothers, man. Mm. You know, all the same people, all brothers, man. I get the same reception everywhere I go, man. So I can't pick between any of the cities. Man. But you've been throughout the world performing in all kinds of, uh, in front of all kinds of people, of all kinds of cultures, all kinds of rings. I think uh, there'd be hardly one part of the world you might have left out. How is it different as compared to Pakistan? Now you come here and you see these fans who have been waiting to see wrestling in their own backyard. How passionate are they? I think, you know, because when I've gone to the um, other countries, mm -hmm. wrestling w was already there. Yeah. So they've already seen it, been there, done it. Pakistan was like a new identity to the sport. Mm -hmm. So it was amazing for me to come and open the eyes of Pakistanis and see and show them and showcase this wonderful sport. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a squared circle, you know, and, you know, every, I mean, one language. Yeah. Even though we don't speak the local languages, they understand that language in that ring. Mm -hmm. And it was wonderful to bring that to Pakistan as a first time and to watch it grow to where it is now, I'm like, yeah, yeah, definitely number one in so my So are you looking forward to learning the local language as well? <laughs> <laughs> if I can pronounce the words properly, yeah, yeah man. I can tell you what we call gold. We call it sona. Sona? Yeah, right oh. there. So that's what we call gold. Sona? Yes. Okay. S-O-N-A, right? S-O-N-A. Oh, yes. so sona. Yes. So now <laughs> okay. you know how you can get gold in Pakistan by, by using these words as well. Uh, but but uh, as a presenter, uh, you've got to be dynamic, you've got to be... Uh, all kinds of things have got to come to your mind. You can't be one-dimensional, can you? Absolutely not. And everyone has their own signature style. And it's mm -hmm. sort of like I was saying earlier about um, being authentic to your true self. When I worked for a, a company in, in Britain, I was the only American there. And I was thinking, okay, well, I'll try to sound, you know, a little more like them. And everything, every time I said something that just sounded like very intense. <laughs> American, to me, they oh, must yeah. have given you they, the eyes. They yeah. loved it. No, they loved <laughs> it. And they thought, you know, you just be you. So, and, and Ring of Pakistan is the same way. So we embrace diversity and everyone's different languages and different looks and styles in and out of the ring. So, um, yeah, it's important to be yourself. And uh. at ROP, we're allowed to do that. You are, but uh, I, I'm tempted to ask this part of it that uh, obviously we have our own identities in our uh, back home lives as well. But uh, has it ever happened that the ring identity actually takes over? Yes, I think like a lot of people in wrestling, it, it really is just you with the volume turned up. It's just sort of a, a heightened version than yourself. I mean, with me, I was looking up to um, icons like Stephanie McMahon and yeah. Jesse Hyatt and Miss Elizabeth. They were a little more on the girly side that mm -hmm. were not always the damsels in distress. A lot of times they could really hold their own as well. So um, I loved them. And you know, you sort of take different parts of people that you want to emulate and then you twist it into your own version of, of your own character. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so Calval and, and my real self, it's, it's, there's not a lot different there. Yeah. It's a very blurry line, I would say. <laughs> a very thin, you know, it's yeah. got to be a transparent line as well. But you mentioned, of course, Stephanie. She's married to Triple H, so you don't want to mess with that couple. You know no. that for sure. But uh, Bacha, uh, growing up, who were you inspired with? Which role models were wrestling? Me, I know you liked Triple H. I know that. 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 I know वो बादशाह नहीं था जो सा मुझे मिला तो मैं वो बन गया वो बादशाह मैं बन गया तो मेरा फेवरेट किंग जी द किंग और ये किंग मैं अपने आप को पसंद करता हूं सो बादशाह व्हाट बादशाह इज सेइंग दैट ही यूज्ड टू लव ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ रेसलर्स 
but now he loves only one legend and that is his own self. <laughs> uh, Tiny, you think yeah. uh, overconfidence? Uh, no, it's great, man. It's good. You have to have confidence. If yeah. you ain't got no confidence, then you have no reason being in that ring. Mm -hmm. so, so what you're hearing from him is normal. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what everybody needs is that confidence that you are the best. But in that ring, you're going to let him know who the real king is, aren't you? Well, you know, if that ever happens, you know, <laughs> if that ever happens, because I, I love the sunnah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. He loves the gold. That's what he said as well. <laughs> and it's actually pretty funny. You know, growing up, I used to love so many wrestlers. Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, and, you know, Rey Mysterio with his 619 as well. I thought John Bradshaw Layfield actually banged up some of his limousines as well. But then at one point I thought, if I'm ever going to be a wrestler, why not be called the Avatar and imitate one of them each day in my wrestling career? So that's how crazy it got. <coughs> but um, I did talk about one factor of it as well, and that was, of course, uh, the merchandise. I understand this is a, a trade secret, marketing, branding, everything. But this is got to be in your plans because this is how people are going to connect with the Ring of Pakistan. Absolutely. Um, uh, we've been <laughs> approached by so many of their fans mm -hmm. want to bring them back mm -hmm. again and again and secondly for their merchandise so they are driving the business in a way mm -hmm. so we're getting a lot of ideas from them and then we have our own plans as well so mm -hmm. that'll be one part of it we'll have a, a comic book coming oh, up wow. yeah with the same characters but stories local stories mm -hmm. you know so to connect that and uh, then we might have a video game as well for oh. Pakistan. Yeah, so, so yeah, you, there's a lot in uh, the... So, Tiny, you're going to be all over the place with this <laughs> then, yeah? People are going to be selecting characters, and you're definitely going to want So Kalwal to be the ring announcer there as well, and of course the presenter, don't you? <laughs> Most definitely, man. You know, like Imran said, man, merchandise is a big, big part of wrestling, man. So, you know, whether it's um, um, cups, video games, <laughs> pens, pencils, paper, uh -huh. wallpaper, you know, it's, it's going to happen, brother. Yeah. We're going to be all over the place, RRP, brother. Yeah, but I, if I open my restaurant, I'm going to get my, I'm going to serve mango lassi. I'm going to be have it called Tiny Iron Lassi. Uh -huh. so I'm going to brand that. I'm going to make sure Tiny gets all the credit for that as well. <laughs> but Sokal, while your own video game, how cool is that for you as oh, uh, this industry grows? It just goes back to being a fan and you think, wow, I had the, the action figures. I had the video games and I played it all, as all my favorite characters. And even, you know, having a trading card for me, that was a big deal to me. I remember when I first bought my very first wrestling t-shirt. It was 20, uh, 20 bucks, $20 of my own money. And I saved up and I bought that shirt and it meant a lot to me. So there's a lot of emotional connection when you buy merchandise because you're representing mm -hmm. your favorite wrestlers. Of course, the shirt that I bought was for Edge and Christian. And when I told them that, they said, oh, we hated that shirt. You must have been the only one that bought it. But to me, it meant a lot. There was a big emotional connection there. Well, uh, to my defense, <laughs> I like DX better. <laughs> so. Oh, no. See, this, we're going to have a fight now. Uh-oh. Yeah. So I like them better. But I, of course, I loved Edge's fear. And I thought oh, yeah. Christian was uh, just another guy who doesn't want him around his corner. But I don't know how well they connected. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Obviously, splits were in there between. But that's the real action part of it. Bacha, apni video game. Ek bar, uh, Chote hote ve, hum dekhte honge video games ke ve. We want to be in that video game. Jee. Now you're going to be in one. Acha lagega ya apne aap ko udhar dekh to apna saro ko. Fir saro ko dishum dishum karunga apne nephews ke saath to. Or maza aega. He says he's going to enjoy uh, selecting his own character and of course. But if if in real life you feel as if I feel that I'm no match up against uh, Tiny Iron or Bacha okay, or Sokal okay, Well. So what you can do is when Imran plans to launch that video game, select your own character, beat these guys and actually feel like you've done it. So that's how you're going to connect to them as well. But like we said, uh, a couple of activities planned for them. Uh, obviously, you've been through one this afternoon as well. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's not just the ring action. There are going to be a lot of other yeah. events around it as well. Yes, tomorrow we are holding a meet and greet mm -hmm. uh, at Centaurus Mall and then we at around 6 o'clock and then we're going to Giga Mall. I think they're the biggest malls here. So general public can come and talk to them, take selfies and ask them about their stories so they can really interact and uh, you know get to know uh, the person beyond the character. Mm -hmm. Beyond yeah. the character. Yeah. That, that, that's got to be the real part of it. Uh, uh, Tiny, looking forward to meeting these people, showing them what the real Tiny Iron is about? Oh, most definitely, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be doing some arm wrestling, you know, I'll be, you know, giving them some advice. On it's going to be five against you. It's <laughs> going to be five against you. That's fair. Yeah, you know, we're going to have some fun, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some fun, brother. That's the main thing. Have That's the main thing. Well, you're yeah. looking forward to it, aren't you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Roll on tomorrow, man. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like, uh, you said that you, back in 2002, when you started your career, right after you are 16, 
it was a real something because right after, right in your sweet 16s, you were wrestling. Mm -hmm. how, uh, how was that journey, right? Definitely, as a parent, you think of your child going towards a career, maybe being an astronaut, and one fine day, oh, SoCal wants to be a wrestler. Yeah. So that's got to be a roller coaster ride in such a young age. It sure was, and, and I was sort of managing, so I was kind of, you know, bringing the wrestlers out to the ring and, and being a character and, it's, you know, and um, being sassy and having fun with it and, and playing my role. Uh, but my mother said, uh, if, if this business changes you, I will <laughs> yank you right out of it. Because I was very young. I always mm -hmm. had to some, have someone go with me to the shows, um, you know, for the first few years. And I was signed to a big company when I was only 18. So I did start really young, but... I think, like you said, meeting the fans, um, since I was such a fan, it meant so much to me to be in the business. And now when I meet fans, I remember what it was like to mm -hmm. see people that I saw on TV. And, um, you know, I used to wait outside for autographs. People are surprised that I admit that. And I thought, well, why would I be ashamed of that? I was thrilled to be about 14 years old waiting for autographs outside of the arena. And it connects, doesn't it? it One sure time does. you were buying a shirt for Edge and Christian, the other day you were meeting them. Yes, and, I, and I've told everyone that I got autographs from, from, you know, and sometimes they were, um, you know, really pleased to hear that you know, that I made it, you know, mm -hmm. eventually. So I stuck with it and but we're all still fans at heart for sure. Yeah, definitely. We'll be for the rest of our lives. Yeah. We? And that's, that's how this journey goes as well. But uh, all of these things are what make it more special. I, I mean, uh, at first it must have been like a dream seeing all of these people. And but then again, uh, like a roller coaster ride, I did mention. What do you think was the highlight of it? That one big memory that you'd remember for the rest of your life? Oh my goodness. I mean, there are a few people that I always looked up to that I wanted to meet. And you know, I started watching say around 99 or so. Mm -hmm. So the Hardy Boys were huge for me. Um, Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, Kurt Angle. And the great news is all these people that I've met, they say never meet your heroes. Well, in this case, they've all been so lovely. Kurt Angle is just such a wonderful, humble guy. The Hardy Boys as well. And um, yeah, it's, it's been surreal, but I think to me, the highlight I always say was probably signing with a big company at 18 because it mm -hmm. was a very young time. A lot of people weren't hiring uh, at that time, Youngsters girls that, that age, time, yeah. especially that didn't wrestle and mm -hmm. that didn't really have aspirations to wrestle. So I was so thrilled that Impact Wrestling gave me that chance. And um, But you know, e even fast forward to now, they're giving me a chance here at Ring of Pakistan to live a dream and to see the world and to travel. And that's what I, always, I wanted to do with my life was to be in the wrestling business, contribute in any way I could, maybe shop and wear some cute outfits <laughs> while I do it, and to see the world and to meet new people. And that's yeah. what we're here to do. Definitely. Tiny, one of the highlights of your careers as well, which you think would go on in your mind for the rest of your life? Um, just embracing people, mm -hmm. seeing their faces, seeing their reactions, traveling. Pakistan, <laughs> Japan, you know, around the world. Mangolasi. <laughs> yeah, Mangolasi, <laughs> definitely what, what one of the new founds for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just traveling, embracing people, all different races and cultures, you know, and just, you know, making people happy, bro. Yeah. That's my main part. But, you know, that's how you associate these wrestlers. They, they've got their merchandise. You've been talking about merchandise so much, but they've got their own moves. Their signature moves are there as well. As Sokal Val was mentioning, the Hardy Boys, I made my brother do a swanton bomb <laughs> right in the middle of the living room. And then I don't want to tell you what my father and mother did to me because uh, he got hurt. So you never don't want to try that. We all, they always say this in your video games, in all of your wrestling entertainment you watch on television, please don't try this at home. And that's the real message for you out there. These guys are true professionals. And I'm going to let Imran answer this question that there's a lot, a lot, a lot of training, a lot of... Uh, you can say coordination and a lot of things involved behind the scenes. Oh, absolutely. It's not just, um, uh, you know, I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not just the, uh, the physical part of it, but it's the mental training that they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you go in front of the crowd, you have to entertain them. And at the same time, you're fighting. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. I mean, when I was just watching wrestling as a fan mm -hmm. and then coming into the business, I have a lot more mm -hmm. respect for all these wrestlers, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, absolutely. There's a whole new level. It's, mm -hmm. it's, and I think um, professional wrestling is the most difficult form of uh, uh, combat sport there mm -hmm. is that that's my my opinion after looking at the, the training and the uh, and all the stuff that goes into it mm -hmm. it definitely is uh, uh, obviously time is a luxury mm -hmm. we never have uh, towards the close of the show I've got to ask you what message you'd like to give all of those fans who are eager as ever like me biting their nails for Ring of Pakistan I mean the message for them is I mean we are this, just the initiators we have brought the wrestlers, we've started this industry, but without your help and the help of the government, uh, it cannot carry on. It's, mm -hmm. it's an expensive sport, it's mm -hmm. an expensive business. And uh, I'll, I'm very thankful to uh, ISPR, they've yeah. been very helpful, very encouraging, mm -hmm. that's why we're here for the third year. 
and I would encourage, I mean, what better example? Mm -hmm. Our own prime minister is a former sportsman. Yeah. So sport can take you there. And one of the most successful in Pakistan. Absolutely. I mean, uh, cricket and wrestling was kind of introduced at the same time. Yeah. But we never had wrestling executed on the ground. Mm -hmm. So had it been the case, maybe we would have had, li like we had Imran Khan and Vaseem Akram, Shoaib mm -hmm. Akhtar, legends like that in cricket, we would have had our own hook organs and undertakers mm -hmm. in wrestling. So maybe now is the time, and I'm sure it is. Because we said you like the Vince of Pakistan. Oh. <laughs> is there a wrestler behind that suit as well? You never know. Uh, yeah, mentally, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not mentally. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. You might just take his specs off and say, okay, I'm going to get that title for myself now. It's my business. Yeah. But uh, tiny message out there for all of you fans, and of course, Pakistan Zindabad at the end. Yeah, basically, you know, ROP, you know, we're nothing without you guys. You know, we need all your support. We need all your energy. We need all your grace, you know, to brace, embrace the ROP and everybody that's involved in this project, man. We're doing this for you. So this week, I want to see you down there at the show and come enjoy yourself and come say happy birthday to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Pakistan's in the bottom. Pakistan. Zindabad. Zindabad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. So, Kalval, message to all of those people who have been dreaming of seeing SoCal Val in reality as well. I don't know how to follow that other than to say <laughs> thank you so much. I mean, if this, if this week is going to be anything like the reception we've received since we landed this morning, we've just seen so many smiling faces and so many kind, respectful, wonderfully lovely people. Um, we can't wait to meet more of you. And of course, this weekend is something you don't want to miss. It's going to be an unforgettable event. And make sure you're following us on social media at The Ring of Pakistan. We love hearing from you. Yeah, definitely. you got to say Pakistan Zindabad as well. Yeah. That's you used to sit right there, Pakistan. Pakistan. Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. Right. Oh there yes. There we go. That right. felt good. That that was perfect. <laughs> you try to match Tiny's energy. Didn't I tried. You? <laughs> you know. Right. Uh, Bacha, message to sub fans, Kelly. आज जाएं आप सब लोग 29 को स्पोर्ट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स में इस्लाम बाद में 30 को भी आज जाएं इंशाअल्लाह मैं ये टाइटल डिफेंड करूंगा ये देख लें. This is what is up for grabs, definitely. We try to defend Karunga. Aajay, aap ki support ke saath puri dunya ko bata dein ki ham Pakistani kisi se kam nahi. Definitely, but guys, it's been great having you, Imran. I'm all praises for you for making my dreams come true. You know, I've been waiting to meet Tiny. You made you made me meet him three years in a row now. So Kal Val, like I said, has been a fantasy, and now I'm like, pinch, please pinch me. Is she really there? But you you've been many and Bacha, our very own. You've brought yeah. them all and I wish you all the success and the prayers for thank your future you so initiatives much. as well. Thank Guys, you thank so you very much. It's thank been great. Sure, Tiny, my man, Sokal, Val and Baksha. Yes, Shukriya, <laughs> thank you. So, yes, language is there as well. But we're definitely going to leave it at that. Unfortunately, we're short of time. These, are go these guys are going to be in that action involved throughout the week as well. But at this time, you've got to thank Ring of Pakistan. You've got to thank Pakistan Television, PTV World in general as well. Because we brought you these guys on screen. And we've been showcasing all of this that's been happening throughout these years as well. And especially, like Imran mentioned as well, thank ISPR, the Inter-Services Public Relations, for what a great job they're doing alongside the government of, as well, who are promoting these initiatives as well now. Of course, Prime Minister Imran Khan has been the most successful sportsman and he realizes what sports brings to the country as well. We're going to leave it at that from me, all of these legends, and of course, from my team as well. Until our next show, it's goodbye for now.